So today is finally the day that I'm going to go right ahead and consolidate all of my network equipment and I'm going to be basically moving it into the closet. Now I'm just going to go right ahead and go through some of the items that I chose to go right ahead and do this. So of course, uh, first item I got is of course a patch panel. Now this is a 12 port patch panel that I'm going to be using. We do have the Trednet Gigabit Switch 16 port as well as the rack mount kit. We do have the StarTech server rack shelf. We also have a StarTech search protector that I purchased. And of course, we do have the StarTech wall server rack. So to give you some more information on how I'm gonna be doing this, it's, I'm gonna go ahead and basically have the server rack in this, um, in this side of the, of, of the closet. So I'm just going to go right ahead and start running, you know, of course, Ethernet cables as well as coaxial cables. All right. So now that we have everything, let's go right ahead and get started. Okay, so there is all the equipment basically connected, configured inside of this 6U server rack. So overall, everything was good. You know, the 10, the 10 inch uh, basically server shelf. I mean, it, it's it's doing its part. It's holding down, uh, of course, uh, the modem uh, as well as uh, the Dell 990 that I have for my router. You do have, oh, oh, I forgot. I need to tighten these up. I'll tighten them up in a little bit. So, of course, I do have the patch panel right here. Um, I only have four cables going into this, but, of course, I am planning on throwing more cables. So, uh, most likely, of course, well, I mean, not most likely, but I do have some room for expansion. So, I could go right ahead and do that. Uh, the switch, basically, right here, everything is connected. Um, I did, I thought I had a shorter cable um, than this one, but I had to use one of the longest ones I have. I'll probably buy... Um, buy one probably on Amazon uh, probably today or tomorrow but this actually goes directly to uh, the actual router over here and it actually basically communicates with everything uh, switch is really it's really quiet you know the only thing that's probably making noise is actually the fan over here in the front but I'd, I might um, probably swap it out for a quieter one and then down here, of course, we have the search protector. It's basically doing its thing. Um, it is an eight outlet search protector, which is nice. Right now I'm just using three outlets, but it is available for uh, five more just in case if I need it. Also for the rail, um, I actually took it off from the bottom and I actually placed it down here, but I actually had to flip it upside down because uh, this little rail right here, if you could see it, it was actually hitting the search protector, so I had to basically flip it. But uh, yeah, that's basically what I did for this little rail. And down here, uh, basically, I installed a four-port faceplate. Has of course, you know, three of the Ethernet cables basically going in, and then of course, I do have the coaxial cable going here, and I actually had to extend it because the original run um, it wasn't long enough, so I had to extend the cable. Luckily, I found these little adapters for the faceplate in Lowe's, so uh, I, I'm liking it. It's doing its thing. 
And that is the end of this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And like always, I really do hope you enjoyed the video, and we will catch you on the next one.